Testing for nitrite. Featuring Taylor's K1565. Who should use this kit? Sodium nitrite-based treatments are often used to establish a protective film on ferrous metal surfaces in closed cooling water systems and hot water heating boilers. When used at high enough dosage rates, nitrite is a very effective corrosion inhibitor and it does not require oxygen to function. Taylor's test kits for nitrite incorporate either a permanganate or the seric oxidation of nitrite method, commonly called the CAN method. The CAN test is perennially a bestseller, but in times when raw material for the CAN titrant becomes difficult to source and the pricing for this reagent subsequently increases, the permanganate method offers a cost-conscious alternative if the system has not been treated with glycol. A video illustrating the CAN method entitled Testing for Nitrite in the Presence of Glycol can be found in our online demo library. Taylor offers four nitrite tests that employ the permanganate method. They are differentiated by the drop equivalency and in one instance by the pH modifier used. In this video, we are demonstrating the K1565. No color matching is required for this simple drop count titration. When the water sample goes from a colorless to a permanent pink, the reaction is finished and the endpoint has been reached. The drop equivalency in the K1565 is one drop equals 50 parts per million as sodium nitrite. You can also record your results as nitrite by multiplying the sodium nitrite concentration by 0.67. Glycol may cause an interference. To prevent, use the CAN method on glycol-treated systems. Leak detection dyes may make the endpoint for any of the permanganate methods difficult to determine. In this instance, the CAN method is preferred. Before beginning this or any other Taylor test, it is best to read the instructions through to the end. Familiarizing yourself with all of the steps to come is particularly important if the test is new to you or if the kit is newly purchased, as sometimes our procedures change. For safety, it is always wise to wear safety glasses and gloves when performing any test. Now we're ready to begin. First, rinse and fill the 25 milliliter sample tube to the 25 milliliter mark with the water to be tested. Using the large dipper spoon, add one dipper of acid sulfate and stir with the rod until completely dissolved. Holding the one milliliter pipette vertically, add permanganate reagent dropwise, swirling and counting after each drop, until the sample goes from colorless to a faint pink.
add one extra drop of reagent, and wait at least one minute to be certain the color change remains permanent. Multiply the number of permanganate reagent drops expended by 50, remembering not to count the extra drop. Then record as parts per million sodium nitrite. To record results as nitrite, multiply the sodium nitrite concentration by 0.67. When testing is complete, remember to rinse all apparatus thoroughly. This will prevent cross-contamination when doing future tests. Taylor manufactures two combination kits that contain the same permanganate-based test for nitrite as in the K1565. Taylor's knowledgeable customer service representatives are available to provide technical assistance about our products. Call 800-TEST-KIT 